Hi everyone, it's Raja and Raven, and you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. We're going to be tuning and booting the looks from the main stage, season 16 of. Category is true color. They want you to wear your signature color and they want you to do different shades of it and mix different shades of it. I love anything gold. This was just laying around the house. I was just like, what do I have? That's gold. And yours is beige. I love, 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 love the natural shades. You know, I've always, you know, been, you know, called what the beige phase beauty. Beauty, they added that yeah, too? Yeah, beige oh, face beauty. Yeah, that's, that's me, BFB. Okay, that's great. BFB, um, beige face beauty. Catch an all new episode Friday on MTV. Or if you live outside of the US, Canada, or Australia, you can watch on WOW Presents Plus worldwide. Go to dragrace.wowpresentsplus.com. Or click the link below to see if season 16 is available in your territory. Let us know who your top two is in the comments below. Like and subscribe. We've got seven queens left. We're past the halfway mark. I expect them to bring it, especially something so personal as like your favorite color that is signature to you. I don't want to see a bitch coming out in all black. Be a little different. Just a little. Category is true colors. First, we bring to the stage Maya Iman LePage. Sexy bitch. Lady in red. Yeah. She's giving us pageantry. There's ostrich plumes, rhinestones, lace appliques. God, I love red. I love seeing queens in red. I'm drawn to it. Mm -hmm. I love the amount of feathers on it. I love where the feathers start mm -hmm. and where they end. I don't like the feathers on the back. They should be huge and coming out. She should have just took those feathers and added it to the bottom of the skirt. Yeah, like it was totally it did, unnecessary it didn't need in that. the butt. No. I like the little applique right over her. Uh -huh. Her booty, uh -huh. but uh -huh. the uh -huh. feathers coming off of it, it's like, mm, you don't need that. Mm -hmm. I wish the applique on the other shoulder came down off the shoulder a little bit more. It seems a little stingy with the appliques. Mm -hmm. Like, I think there could be just a few more. But, but otherwise gorgeous. Yes, yeah, I love that big, beautiful, coiffed black hair piled on top of her head. She said what she said. She gonna paint the town red. Toot. Toot. Next, we bring to the stage Nymphia Wind. Yellow. yellow. We knew she was gonna do yellow. It's her signature color. And her signature bananas. It's Carmen Miranda. It's Josephine Baker. It's kitschy, it's campy, it's yellow. It's done beautifully, it's done well, it's, it's great, but we expected this though. Right? I mean, like, banana? She's done it a couple times. I'm over the banana then. I mean, like, you already did banana. Isn't that kind of tired? Like, we get it. If she yeah, comes out with one more banana, because has she gone banana? I think she's gone banana. Mm. Would have been great if she would have done a different take on yellow. Maybe she could have done lemon. This to me is like, meh. I wanted her to go like more fashion-y with it. Yeah, the last thing you want to do is be predictable in anything you do in entertainment. It's like signature, yes, but like, oh, the same thing all the time? I don't know. The Sina. banana is ripe, girl. Hey, right, give her a two. Two. Next, we bring to the stage Plain Jane. Green. Here's the thing with this. We've seen this. It's been seen a lot, and it's been done better. I don't like the dry riverbed type looking cracked dress than with like these vines. It's like, I kind of want one or the other. Dry riverbed. You know when you see a dry riverbed and just kind of cracks? Mm -hmm. This needed shoulder pads and it- It needed a cape. A chiffon cape with rhinestones on it. The theme is color. Give me all the color, not just little spots of it. There needs to be more. More coming up, mm -hmm. more coming down. And the bottom of it looks like a child cut up and shredded, covered in glitter and just stuck on the bottom. It's beautifully constructed. It fits her nicely. I'm not offended by it. Do I think there's enough green to showcase green as a color? 
No, but it's it's still pretty. Sure. I'd wear it with a different hair. I would I would have a headdress on it. I would have a boa. I would have a shawl. I would have a cape. Just seems like it's missing something. The but, placement yeah. of the the shards could have been done in a way that were maybe a little smarter. But overall, it's a beautiful garment, and she looks pretty in it. I give it a two. I give it a boot. Next, we bring to the stage Safira Crystal. Oh yes, please. Oh my God, I love it. It's like Marge Simpson AI. I look at like this and I think, where did this bitch pack this? Because you're only allowed a certain amount of bags. Everything she's worn has been so like, well, everything rolls up, Raven. I love the size of the hoop skirt. I know that people don't pay attention to that stuff, but I do. I love it. I can always tell when a hoop skirt is like just mm -hmm. kind of a cone. Yeah. And this looks like she's got the biggest one possible. The makeup's beautiful, the hair is beautiful. She looks fantastic. She understood the assignment. There yeah. is nothing that she left behind. She was like, my color is blue and blue. Everything is what I'm going to give. It is really, really well done. It is one of my favorite things that Safira has worn. It's royal. It sparkles. And this whole look is unexpected. We want the unexpected, the things that just drive us wild and make us gasp as soon as she walks out onto the stage. And this is one of those outfits. Toot. Have I shoot at her before? I don't know. I'm gonna shoot this. Ooh. I just love it. Next, we bring to the stage Dawn. Huh. I think it's strange. I think it really kind of matches her personality. The makeup is rad. It's quirky. It's cute. There's a fairy tale kind of quality to it that I like. What Sandman would look like. And it's unexplainable. And that's all right. I don't want it explained. And I, I like that we're not getting the ears. Instead, we have, yeah. you know, this. She's like what my sleep paralysis demon looks like when I'm on an Ambien. I think she looks really cute in this. I, th I also find that the balloon pant chaps are kind of interesting, which mm -hmm. we haven't seen yet. And I like that with the side cutouts on the hips. I appreciate that. It's just a whole different take on it. If this ever came out in a doll, it would definitely be in my collection. Um, and I love that she's wearing a pleaser. <laughs> <laughs> a pleaser scurrying about, yeah. like, yeah. Toot. It's a toot. Next, we bring to the stage Q. Hers is lavender. You know, usually I'm on board with Q. Mm -hmm. This whole thing, I don't like it. Oh, really? At all. Nope. I like the hat. The um, hat is cool. Fringe around a wide brim hat. Uh, been there, done that, seen it. I would have liked that hat better with just a beautiful, sleek, nude illusion under it with rhinestones all over. It's too much. I don't mind it. And she looks like she's wearing chaps on her titties. Titty chaps. <laughs> Titty chaps. Chap titties. Uh, my titties um, are chapped. Mm, yes. It's the combination. I see what you mean. I don't like the ruffles on the pants. I don't like the fit of the pants. I'm looking at it going, what in the f <laughs> You are really bothered by this. Yes. Yeah, the bra's a little funny too. The more I look at it, the more I like it. But again, that fringe around the, around a wide brim hat is like, oh my God, where are you going to Renaissance concert? There's these shoulder things, th yeah. these sleeves that are connected to the bra. And, and, and it's like connected, but also everything is disconnected. Which I'm really sad, because I really like have high expectations from her. And that's and what really sucks, is that we do, we do have such high expectations for her, but we don't want to hold her up somewhere and yeah. then think everything needs to be that way. But then when we do see something like this, it's like... Ugh. I'm going to boot it. Boot. Next, we bring to the stage Morphine. Love Dion. Oh. Yeah. This is hot. It's sexy. It's hot. It's mm -hmm. like pimp witch. <laughs> <laughs> it has the same idea of plain Jane, but she added more. That was the thing that was missing with plain Jane. It needed a sleeve, a cape, a hat, a something. I find this look to be very sexy. I find it to be complete. 
she is definitely head to toe in purple. Mm -hmm. And then the nude illusion inside. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a, it's kind of metallic-y silver, but maybe she's got a metallic-y silver highlighter on all over. I love that the feathers on the hat are the same feathers that are on the dress. I love mm -hmm. that the dress and the little cape lip, it's smart. Head to toe. Yep. It is complete. It is stoned. She looks beautiful. She looks sexy. She looks stunning. She's Linda Evangelista. I give her a two. Two. Trend alert! Cool tones. Keep it cool tones. Keeping it cool, baby. Stay cool. Cool. Yeah. Mmm, burr. Kind of icy. Not a lot of warmth. More cool. Cool. Our top two of the week is Safira, Safira Crystal. Crystal. Looking cool. She said, I came to compete. Go in, bitch. Go in, bitch. Go in. You know Deep. Where she, you know where she went? In. in. Catch an all new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race season 16, Fridays on MTV. And if you live outside of the US, Canada, or Australia, you can watch worldwide on WOW Presents Plus. Bye. Bye. Get out of here. Leave us alone. Go watch porn or watch this again because you're obsessed. My signature is all colors. I am the rainbow, honey. You're the pot of gold at the end of it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm the pot of gold at the end of it. Oh, is that is That's that a, a double entendre? Yes. The pot of gold. Okay, mm -hmm. I see what you did there, Pete. <laughs>